like you, but I don't eat healthy as much. <laughs> he says I don't eat healthy. I say I eat like shit. What's up, guys? Welcome to Unlimited Views Podcast, brought to you by Mirsad and Aris. Uh, we would like to welcome everyone. We're on YouTube now, officially. <laughs> this is our new studio. New studio, <laughs> learning, episode man. four. Episode four. Episode this is episode four. four. Right? Uh, so the whole thing is, we haven't been on YouTube. We've been on Spotify and Anchor, as you guys know. Uh, the whole uh, so we went from the backyard. That's where we were. <laughs> the backyard was the original spot. And it's still good. Because right. of COVID. Right. Now things are calmer. So Social distancing. We, we can actually sit up in, in the studio. There you go. Uh, so thank now, you for the feedback from yeah. everyone. We had wonderful feedback, whether it was volume. Uh, actually, a lot more people said, let's do a video. I think it would be much better. Right. Uh, a lot of pa- podcasts out there doing video, right? So yeah. I think it's actually better for us to get the, our message out there yeah. uh, for you guys to see us. And I think it, you can connect better. And, and no, of like, course, of course. You get to see the reaction. Like, if so you saw awesome. something like funny or stupid <laughs> and you see my face. Uh, it's, Both you know, drinking coffee. There you go. You know, it's, it's just a different vibe with the video <laughs> setup. So... Welcome to episode four. Cuatro. Cuatro. <laughs> uh, so we're in episode four. We're going to talk about health. Health is a big thing right. that we're actually going to talk about today. So basically healthy foods. Healthy foods. Dieting. Yes. And we'll why dieting. exercise is important and yeah. why it's being overlooked. Yeah. Yeah. So especially, I think it's a big topic. Especially in times like this, I think because of COVID that one, gyms are closed. Yeah. So... I think a lot more people are working about like trying to work out from home. Sure. Whether it's going out running or just trying to get any way of exercise. I know for myself, yeah. I haven't been doing anything. Right. <laughs> except right. push ups. So <laughs> push ups are a must. Push ups is, is is whatever, but it's not like it's not cardio. So we're not I'm not running or anything like that, which I'm trying to do. Okay. But then again, life gets in the way. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> but I think let's talk first about um eating healthy, right? Yeah. So Tell me a little bit maybe about your eating habits, and I'll, I'll go over mine as well. Okay. Because I don't know about you, but I don't eat healthy as much. <laughs> he says I don't eat healthy. I say I eat like shit. I'm talking about Big Macs, uh, and chickens. <laughs> the dollar sign is a blessing. Don't let anyone fool you. Uh, French fries. Uh, Not, I don't eat much of fast food, but I think like eating or banging food. But why are you interrupting me? Bro, you asked me the question. <laughs> what are you talking? No, those, those are, fast food is uh-huh. the best though. But to a certain degree. Yeah, so, of course. But I think eating like home cooked food. Yeah. But then again, like my my mom cooks, right? So I eat home cooked food. But then certain things are super fat. And yeah, I yeah. think that's just culture wise. So it depends on your culture. I'm sure you definitely have a lot of foods out there uh, that your mom cooks that is so good you can't say no to it. Yeah. But it's, <laughs> it could be super unhealthy. My mom makes these chicken. I I had them today actually. She made these chicken cutlets, man. We're all banging, but, you know, it's usually an Italian dish, but uh, she made them amazing. Super good. Dude, they're so fatty because they're with the breadcrumbs, but they're banging. So, That's what it is. the thing is this, like, I look pretty fat now. Uh, I am. I'm probably over 240, I think, like, around there. Uh, I do do a lot of push-ups. I'm pretty athletic for being fat, but uh, the thing... Overweight. Overweight, sure. I don't mean to offend nobody. Uh, I-, I was doing... About, I think six months ago, I, was, I did a keto. I did the keto diet. I don't know if you ever heard. Yeah, of that. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we so, talked about this. Um, um, so the, how, tell me how how was that experience for you, right? Because you hear about everyone trying doing the keto yeah, diet. Yeah. For some people, it works. Yeah. Some it doesn't. Right. So, what? How did it work for you? Well, it, it was. I'm sure you have funny stories. Man, it was beyond helpful. <laughs> At the same time, it was so stressful because. It went from eating out every day to eating whatever I wanted, like cheeseburgers, all the you know good stuff slash disgusting stuff, um, to eating basically salad and meat. That's, That's it. it. There's right. nothing else, man. Right. You obviously you you can go on other people's channels. They actually like show you the foods they make for keto. Yeah, yeah. To make I've seen like keto ice cream. There you go. Right, right. Which is crazy, but it does not taste the same. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you it does not taste nothing like so, it. So that's probably very weird. Yeah. yeah, so in the beginning it was very, very tough to, to transition from eating whatever you want to having a strict diet. It was very tough. Um 
but honestly for me it worked man if i lost over 26 27 pounds and i did it how, how many months was it it so took a good two months pretty, uh, pretty big pretty big deal though right in between i did put like push-ups where i was pushing out like 300 a day like every day yeah, yeah i did not skip yeah you know it, it kind of formed me up a little but the thing is um it gave me gastritis problems so I don't know why it happened. The doctors, wherever I went to, to check it out, they said that uh, keto is bad for you. You know, I I didn't, I guess it is for your system, which I, not I'm not a doctor. It's not for everyone, maybe. Right. So I don't understand. So it affects your body differently. Right. It was giving me gastritis problems. I, I literally thought every time it clocked me, I thought I was going to pass out. So Which is weird. Oh, right. It, it was great though. So I that's lost, the reason why you stopped. Yeah, that's the only reason. I lost a lot, tremendous weight, like, 26, 27 pounds, you know, it's just crazy. How was it afterwards? Because usually when people stop the diet, yeah. it's like their body goes into like uh, just another mode and then just kind of recoups that weight very quickly. So you just, yeah, that, that, that you, just you answered your own yeah. question. I, I went back to eating shit. And then without you, a question, you just gained your weight right back. Or Everything right. Uh, obviously with steps because I, I wasn't, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, but little by little, I went right back to where I was. So that's the thing with diet. I, I think if you don't make it a lifestyle, I think a lot of people recommend keto to be a lifestyle. I think that if you don't make it that, you're gonna eventually get a bad. Better bad. Unless you, just, yeah. you know, because like for example, when I'd go to Five Guys on keto, I would get a, a cheeseburger, but it would be with lettuce instead of bread. Instead of having the bread, yeah. You yeah. know, and because the meat and cheese you're allowed to eat on keto plus the lettuce, that's a keto meal. But it didn't taste the same at all. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but I went back to everything, unfortunately. I am thinking about doing it again, but we'll see how well, it Well, maybe goes. you could do it to a certain degree. I mean, I know with keto, you, you cannot have, like, specific things. Otherwise, then you're not really doing keto. You're just probably not eating, you know, bread or... Right? Because there's certain things that you have to eat, and there's certain things you can't eat. Otherwise, you'll get out of it. It's like, all about fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's all about fat. So, you have to just intake a lot of Because I've tried that, too. I'm not, like, I, I would say to myself, okay, let me cut, like, bread. Let me cut, you know, yeah. all, like, pasta. Let me cut all these things that are really not so good for you, right? Yeah. And then, but then, then again, I think your body will still, to a degree, let's say you, you cheat one day or two days, three days, it will get it right back. So... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've lost some weight too. I think just yeah, because I was, of I was about COVID, to ask right? you, yeah. So I lost maybe like ten pounds. Okay. I think it's all over the dieting. So I stopped eating like I would stop eating breakfast. So you did COVID maybe, the right skip way. lunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And then yeah. I think I lost a little bit of weight. But then again, like I said, if I think if you add some exercise to it, then you really want to get that summer body as we all <laughs> But that's what we all lay for. But it's fucking super, impossible. Super difficult to do. Uh, it's already too late. I've got to try for next year. Hey, I'm getting married next year. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta, right. I gotta really, Cause this year is like ah whatever. For the tux, <laughs> man, you gotta, you gotta look good in that shit. So at this point, I'm like ah screw it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like better luck next year. Yeah. <laughs> but I, regardless, though, I think we sh we all should start eating healthy, and not not just to say like oh you know eat healthy because you live longer, you have a better life. But in general, I think actually eating healthy food gets your, I think, your body in a, in a positive mood. I hear that all the time. Not only your body, dude, your, like, your mental stress is, is low too, bro. And, and you gain fucking crazy amounts of confidence. It's not even funny. Dude, I was like talking to people, like I've known them for years, I didn't even know who they were. It, you just, it's different, bro. You feel more, more energetic think, as, yeah, as well, you I know? I think there's more, you get more energy. It yeah. depends on what, what you're eating, so. Right. I, I've seen though you've seen these little documentaries. I don't know if you've seen them before. It's like the people that eat McDonald's for like thirty days or something, right? I saw <laughs> the bad, bad guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were showing that in what middle school or high school? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's super funny. In we science class, yeah, I believe. Yeah. yeah, that that was crazy. It's, it's like, like unbelievable, but at the same time, it's like it's right there. Like he's literally showing you what what it could do. To what you. it does to you, eating that every day, and he wasn't even eating, eating like a lot. He was eating like a burger and like fries a day. Like two times a day, I think. So oh, yeah, or I think it was like every meal, man. I think every meal for thirty days, yeah, and then it was to the point where the doctor told him that you gotta stop, <laughs> otherwise you might like catch a heart attack. And you see the difference. But I think also what 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 families should do is, especially for kids, getting them at an early age, teaching them the right way. Like okay, maybe having fast food or something 
should be like okay here's like okay we'll do fast food like once a week or something not even once a week kind of like oh all right yeah let's go like for yeah, the record for, he does we don't have any kids <laughs> So, but and we're like the worst people to give parental advice. Yeah, so if, <laughs> not yet. If the not parents yet. Are, are looking at us right now, looking at this video, and they're, they're like, probably what the saying, "Fuck are wrong with these assholes." <laughs> but this guy is very true. It, it's just we're, we're trying to because I was I was also always a chubby kid, so I went from chubby to like a little more skinny to chubby to fat. When I came All to this country, it. I gained a lot of weight, man. But it's like as a kid. That, that's a, a different very skinny kid. That's a different topic, bro. Being <laughs> food do not get you fat, man. Like it's just I don't, I don't know. Food here, I think it's just the food here, man. It's too. It's fucking processed. <laughs> I seen this video the other day. I was mind blown. There was this this oh, couple. Man. Um, they get a slice of cheese that they feed kids in school, dude. Like he literally put a lighter to the cheese. It turned black. It th- it didn't fucking melt. Uh, that's weird. What are you putting in these kids, bro? Like, it's so fucked up. That's another thing that you have to think about, too. Like, school food, like, like cafeteria food. We bro, used to eat the old cafeteria food. Bro, people up. need to wake up, bro. Like, do you understand? Probably, it's, it's I ate cafeteria food, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I don't know what the fuck I ate. Like, it was <laughs> bad, bad. Uh, well, shout out to Ha Ha Davis. That's where I learned uh, using the term twice. Ha Ha. Bad, bad. <laughs> and, and it was stress, stress. Um... So, but yeah, like that video, like mind blew me, bro. Considering like we're so advanced with technology and everything, but yet we can't make fucking good food for people to eat, bro. especially little kids. Like, how much better? What better do they know? They're, they're yeah, innocent. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? It, but that that goes into know, like man. government, school funding, and all these other things to so have quality foods. But I, I, I'm sure that there's been a lot of studies and, and things of that nature that like we're trying to push for better better quality and all these other things. But yeah, but then it goes to to the next thing, like economy wise, bro. You gonna Stuff, yeah? Like for example, you got Trader Joe's and what Fresh Foods? That's the new the hot thing. What do you mean, like oh, like that they're healthy, organic? Well. Fresh yeah. foods and Trader Joe's, I think. Those are the two markets that are pretty like popular. Yeah, right? but right? most of the people, yeah. I mean, everybody's trying to eat healthy. Now, if you go to the store trying to get a salad, how much does a salad cost? Like 15, 20 bucks? 15 bucks, bro. <laughs> Without meat. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. Uh, extra for me. Give, 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 give me a Caesar salad. It's 15 bucks. Bro. But <laughs> Just go into these stores. Exactly. To jump into that, it's like, okay, so I, I'm, I'm supposed to pay more for organic food, but... What am I paying for yeah, right you, now? You, you, when you I'm get not a burger buying there. for a dollar. You get a burger for a dollar. So how is Bro, that, a cheeseburger is only a fucking dollar. So how's that? What is the quality, right? But I think that's what what what, what it is now. Like you're paying a high premium because like people want to eat healthy, and it's like yeah. But what you gonna take advantage of that? Because people are trying. Oh my god, people trying to eat oh healthy. Oh my god, bro. So that's the crazy. Oh my part. god, man. It's the world <laughs> we live in, right? Dude. I mean, um, it, it is what it is. I'm but that's, that's, speechless, that's, that's super that's... funny. Like, if you think about it, like fifteen dollars for a salad, you're like, I'm, let me just go get a double cheeseburger. Dude, and I'll be fine. Because when I was on keto, I had to. When I was working, like, I had to eat salad almost every day on keto. Right. Oh, yeah, you told me. So, dude, I legit half of my paycheck in two weeks would go to food. <laughs> what? Because in the city, especially, it's way too overpriced. So. So you get a pie for that long, but then you're like, no, let me just get a salad. Bro, you go to Dollar Pizza, you get two slices and a can for like $2.50. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Who wouldn't choose that, bro? Are you kidding me? But you're like, I'm going to eat a salad. But I have to eat a salad because I was on the keto. I'm salad. <laughs> let me tell you, man. Yo, <laughs> I don't know, man. That, that thing really like fucks me up. I, I hate to see things like that, but it's unfortunate it's the world we live in, which also brings us into the whole like I, I see the way like some of these kids are for example the kid starts like crying yelling or something and then the parents just bring out an ipad <laughs> yeah that's usually like, like it's like bro. it's like here's like a pacifier right yeah. like, give you a pacifier yeah, you're like here hey, take that like let the kid go out and run man let, let him get into sports let him let him hurt himself it's a kid he'll, he'll he or she will understand they're gonna I get over a lot different. Right? Remember, like when we were younger, we would go to the park, right? But yeah. I don't even know if I, if like I've driven by parks, I don't see that many kids out. No, park. not even. So I don't know if, if it's different or maybe it's just times have changed. But it's not only kids, even like teenagers, even like 
people in their twenties. Nobody goes to like, like parks to yeah, play anymore. Like, we used to go play basketball and stuff like that. Basketball was daily. Yeah, yeah. Are you kidding? I spent almost three to four hours of not even even more. Like it would be in the morning yeah, and then afternoon. We're not working or anything like that. Yeah. Like, there's nothing to do anyways. Yeah, but we're talking about kids like in general. Yeah, so yeah. They like instead of giving them the iPad and telling them here you go, like get away. <laughs> But take them to the park or tell them to go to the park so they can learn themselves. It's like, don't jump, don't make the kids into these robots for technology. And I probably sound like a fucking hypocrite saying that because we're using make technology right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm trying to make something, but it's just like, I'm trying to teach from my mistakes. Cause, I, mean, you know? I, I don't know. We, we have to figure out as well, like, let's say when we get to that level, right? When we have kids, are we going to be doing the same? And yeah. then. I think to a certain degree, I understand it, right? Because let's say you're like out to dinner, and then the kid is like crying and pulling a yeah. tantrum and stuff like that. Yeah, you're trying basically to to calm the situation, so just so you don't look bad. Like so that's like I guess what parents do. Yeah. So maybe I think we would do that too, if given the situation. But then if you actually don't teach the kid outright to be like, oh. If they cry or like you give them the phone, yeah, they, they're gonna use that to their advantage, right? Sure, so sure. Maybe if you teach them the right way, mm -hmm. maybe they don't have to use like technology. Right? Maybe you give them like a piece of paper and a coloring pen, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> so like when, they kids, when they do the kids when they're like in, in the airplane, <laughs> like yeah. if they're flying somewhere, it's probably better off anyway. But, but like, it's not, I, I'm, I'm talking in the perspective like even for me and you, like I, I know at one point uh, about. Like a year ago, we started this thing that we'd go play soccer almost every Sunday. Yeah, right? yeah, that was pretty cool. With our friends, shout out to Raul, to Arnold, to Reynaldo, as we call them, the Nacho. Nacho. That's Albanian yeah. word. Uh, we, we used to do that almost every Sunday. Um, yeah. I know. And it, But the thing is, like, it, it became more of a, at least for me, like, it became more of a job. Like, Sunday would come and be like, <laughs> it's just I become so lazy, bro. I become so stagnant. I, I don't want to do nothing. It could be anything. Yeah, I mean that's that's it, right. And also, so it was bad. winter. Uh, it was, yeah. so it was like last yeah. winter. So I think once you get your body into that role, then it's probably a lot easier. Like for me, it was fun, honestly, because we haven't played in forever. Yeah. So and we're like super. <laughs> I feel like super old. Man. A few of us got injured. <laughs> you know, a lot of us got injured. And whoever's watching. I, you clearly see me struggling with this fucking show. <laughs> I keep either smacking my mouth or like, I don't know, I'm struggling a little bit. I apologize for that. But yeah, continue what you were saying. Still though, like, I think it's still getting to play like once a week. So yeah. much, so much better. So much better because we, I, would, I hate going to the gym, right? So yeah. I'm, like, I'm not going to do that. So I'd rather, I'd rather right. just not even, nah, I hate, I'm going there. I'd rather just go play. I think that's so much better. Yeah. It actually just brings back memories. Yeah. The gym feels like a robot. Like you, you're there to do your sets, I mean, to yeah, do your reps. That is just so boring. Rather than you're playing, getting cardio done, I think we would be fine. Cardio, you relieve stress with cursing at your homies. <laughs> Somebody pissed you off the, the, the day then, off, you're going to take it out on them. Maybe you embarrass them on the court. <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of shit that we could do. Right, right. Um, but we definitely got to get back. I think just because, well, then everything shut down. January, yeah. February was quite a little. The weather was bad, but we usually try to play indoors anyways. But the weather got bad, then COVID happened, and we're like... And then fucking Call of Duty happened. <laughs> Video games. The, listen, 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 listen. Let's not bullshit the people. There's no reason, not, not COVID, not nothing, for us, at least for myself, that I, I, told, yeah. you, I told everyone I lost my job on our podcast. Um... There's no reason for me not to get up and run at least an hour a day or bike at least or an do hour something. a day, right? I did it. Instead, yeah. I got up, hit the PlayStation button. The I whole day. Once you get your body, yourself to that, you have to be motivated. It sucks. It dude. is what it is. Yeah, you're like, oh man, come on, I don't want to go out right now and do it. It's fucking embarrassing. I say that to myself. So I'm like, right, today I'm going to go run. Yeah. I'm like, like super energetic. Then I get home, eat, and I'm like, hell too tired like nah, just, you're not moving the whole day right. working and yeah, right. i'm not gonna do it even if it's an hour even half an hour right it's, it's too hard but if we do that if we get into the habit of just pushing ourselves it just becomes repetitive and i think it would be great but it goes back to the thing of being like it turns into a lifestyle instead of just a 
But tell me this though, like, are you the type of person to go to the gym alone, or like you need somebody no, else I to need go somebody with you? Do, yeah. See. <laughs> so for me, initially it was like that. I need somebody. I need somebody to go with my cousin, uh, and then. After a while, like he got lazy, so yeah. then I got lazy, and then I'm like, "Come on, dude, I need you. We need to go." Then I try to push myself to go, but it's not it's not as uh, Bro, not, I, as as good. You know, you, you're like maybe you cut some reps off. You like you just yeah. you don't do what you need to do. You don't spend a full hour. You like you but slack. The whole thing at the gym too. Slack. Bro, I fucking hate the gym. Cause let me tell you why, bro. I walk in there, right? I know all my girl for a few days. Bro, there's some diesel juice head gorilla looking motherfucker, bro, and I hate them. Like, come on, bro, don't embarrass me. Just look bad. I'm over here doing. pulling the, the 10 pounders, <laughs> and then the guy next to me doing like 65. And he's looking at your girl. Like, <laughs> <laughs> come on, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I just, listen, man, shout That's out to funny. everyone that makes the gym a lifestyle. I think it's probably the best decision to ever make. I, yeah. I swear to God. But um, think about what are those guys doing right now that they can't go to the gym. Home gym workouts. Goes, yeah. Home workouts, man. There's oh. been a lot of, um, yeah. So me and Aris, uh, well, a whole group of our homies, uh, we've been looking at all, all, all different stocks. We're like, we're, we're getting, we got a lot into investing, right? So yeah. we've been looking at like different companies, but I actually heard a lot of companies that are like in home workouts. Yeah. They're actually doing so much more in sales just because of COVID, which is yeah. insane, insane. Like, I don't know those those um, the the running machines. Yeah, yeah. Soup, soup. Like they've been selling out like crazy. Even bike stores. Yeah, yeah. I guess people just get a bike and just start running everywhere. I think uh, Arnold. It was Arnold. He told me he went to the bike store. He couldn't find the fucking bike to buy. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. To think what? About. Bro, you when I used to walk past bike stores, it'd be fucking empty in there. Yeah. But now it's people are just, you know, I guess they see like they can, you know, actually do something productive with their body or with their day. So they get on bikes. I, which... I, I, I have to sell a bike. I don't use it as much. Like I said, I rather, I mean, I, I rather bike. Honestly, biking is awesome, right? Yeah. I rather go by the beach and just bike. I but prefer biking to running. Run, yeah. Anyway. But then again, I feel like I think running is is better than biking. Yeah. Right. So ultimately. You tire yourself more. It's like biking like, focuses on one type of muscle, I guess, and like cardio. Like We're running, yeah. you're running, you're doing both. Yeah. So I think I think it's it's both. But I think you remember we used to bike a little bit to the point where you guys even came to Staten Island. You know, to yeah. Your, your bikes by the boardwalk. By the boardwalk. By yeah, the that's where I usually go. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And I, but you see a lot of people doing the same thing now. Yeah. People are biking, which is why not? Now's the time to do it. I guess they can't do anything else. Yeah. But then, sure. how many people are gonna go back to the gym? I think there's still people that go back. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, at least for the summer, I think it's the the, the gym is my members. Yeah. <laughs> it's like no point. I'm not going to the gym, man. There's too many people going back yeah. to the gym, touching machines, weights. Hell, well, no. I think a lot of people are gonna feel the same way you do. Yeah. So they're gonna be like, oh, sure uh, otherwise, maybe why buy weights and do it at home? Yeah. Not even. Or just do stuff outside. Bro, I, I was I was actually like when I go on Instagram, you know, when I'm before I go to sleep, instead of actually sleeping right away, I, I'd like to, you know, look at my phone for like. I heard that's really minutes. bad for you. It's fucking. It's very sucks. unhealthy. Even the episode about health. Bro, my eyes are very <laughs> hot red. They they usually say you're not you're not supposed to use your phone or like on brightness or whatever while yeah. you're sleeping, like maybe half an hour before you try to actually go to sleep. Yeah. Or something like that. Because I guess it, it messes with you and I guess, I don't know, no, like, whether it's your sight or... Bro, you look like a fucking zombie. You're just there like... But, I, 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 I catch myself yes. making these crazy facial expressions and stuff like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? But how about how about when you wake up, though? Is it the first thing that you... First you thing? Reach yeah, that's your phone, right? What? You're looking like, how many notifications, how many views we got on our podcast... Listen to <laughs> podcast. Uh, so there's a lot of things we're looking at. Since you brought it up, I'll just like to tell the people that uh, we still are. We'll be on Spotify on Anchor. Yep, yep, yep. Um, but as he said in the beginning, uh, many of you guys, whether it was to DMs, whether it was to text messages, or whether it was to in person conversation, yeah, you guys suggested and recommended that uh, video and YouTube would be the best way. Probably the I think best, best way for us to even express ourselves. And the next so. Time, right? so uh my friend here, thank God he has uh, his own house. So we went from his backyard to 
one of his rooms. This is our studio. This is unlimited views. This studio. Is, we will be getting also for for you guys. Uh, we will be getting unlimited views. <laughs> we'll we'll get it post inside. Yeah, we gotta hook it up. Like this we're gonna is get something legit. Right. This is gonna be our our legit studio for now. So, so yeah, uh, our. On YouTube, we will be named obviously Unlimited View Podcast. If you guys do want to search it up, please do. Uh, you're gonna see our, our our tags. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube is also like the, the good thing about it. People can actually comment, and you can see it right away. Yeah. Yeah. Like our post. If you guys want to be like, yo, you guys are fucking idiots. I don't want to ever see you again. Go right ahead, my friend. Uh, if you guys want to be like, <laughs> thank you for uh, sharing your views with us. Awesome. We'll appreciate that too. Absolutely. We welcome everyone. It's all peace and love. Uh, yeah. So, what, did you want to say anything else about health wise? Give us like a health message, right? We're we'll gonna we'll we'll put you on the spot. <sighs> That's a good one. I'll say uh, something else too, man. Stay off the Big Macs. <laughs> Said no one ever. Uh, <laughs> even our, you know, president, Mr. Donald Trump. He apparently his diet is uh, a Big Mac a day. He has to have a Big Mac a day. Which is yeah. fucking wild to me, because you know, considering you're the president of the United States, you want to Big Mac is a Big Mac, man. Yeah, but you want to promote people a little. Not, <laughs> I'm not dissing McDonald's. I'm just saying you want to promote a little more healthy. But I think route. eating healthy is a way, a choice, right? So I think we all should look what we're feeding ourselves. Yeah. What we're feeding our kids. Yeah. Um, and then just. Exercising is key. I think exercising, you yeah. can't do one or the other. You can't say I'm going to just change my diet and not exercise and then hopefully lose weight or get a sick body or whatever you want to do. You have to do both. Yeah. That's the only way. Anybody you speak to, what would people say? It's 10% exercise with 90% diet or 80% diet. Sure. It, you have to work one or the other. Both of them. It also depends on body types. Um, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Metabolism but, plays a big part. Uh, our friend actually, Raul. The guy does not Eat. fucking stop eating. He eats bullshit foods, probably worse than me. My man does not put on a single pound. Like it's why he takes like fucking three shits a day. <laughs> yeah. but I'm mad at that, bro. It's, it's your body. It's your I body, drink so. water. I feel like I gained weight. He it's does, but I, yeah, it's just the body. It's body. That's water weight. Though. That's water weight. So go. <laughs> Listen, but man. it's true. Yeah. But this is episode four, guys. Yeah, Quattro, as you said before. Quattro. Quattro. Uh, um, episode four. Our episode. other episodes are are on Spotify and on yes. Anchor. If you guys do want to go and you know see Check what out. we talked about there, we'd appreciate it. But moving forward, we will be doing YouTube videos. Yes. I think we like this setup a lot more. Um, I'm fucking psyched. I don't know about you. <laughs> it's <about>. awesome. I, <laughs> I think it's awesome. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna be doing just fine. I think this is going great. I hope uh, so. Thank you guys for watching us. Yeah. Uh, like I said, check us out on Spotify. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna put still put on Anchor. Check it out our YouTube channel. Go to our Instagram page. Uh, hit on the the link. What's the Instagram page for the people? Let them know. Unlimited Views Podcast. Yes. And our pages as well. <laughs> not together, or they are together. Unlimited Views Podcast. Just, just put Unlimited View Podcast, man. Always you together. See it Always you together. See it so. Right now, we are ready to finish our first YouTube video and our fourth podcast video. Podcast episode, man. Fucking excited, Thank, thank you guys for watching. It is July 12th, I believe. After 4th of July weekend. Yeah. Took a little break. We did. It was fun. Yeah. We, we played poker until... It was a sick, sick time. Until what? Fucking 1 o'clock? There you go. Smoking cigars, playing poker, drinking beers. The weekend that, is that's for the life, man. That's the life. That's the life, you, bro. You just gotta. Anyway. But thanks again for watching. Thank and you guys. See you guys in episode five. Peace.